Okay, this video is for the benefit of my mother who asked me to change the colour of her website, which I did, but now she's turned around and said, oh no, sorry, it's too dark. So, we are going to change the colour of these two files here for her and we'll make her happy because if mum's happy, I'm happy. Okay, now it's easy to do this if you make it bigger. So you hold down the control key and hit the plus sign a couple of times. So we need to make it a little bit smaller because we need it all to fit. Okay, so sh this is the colour I had. Down here is the colour she wants. Now what I'm just thinking is that we need to... Actually, that's not the colour she wants. That's the colour she wants. Okay, now what I'm thinking is we probably need to make the other colour. We could probably leave that as is. Okay, beautiful. Alright, so we just make sure we've got this box highlighted here. We right click in that and fill. And that colour that box there is the foreground, so we'll just go done. Look at that. Now, I think I have actually filled a tiny bit too much. So what I need to do is make another little bit darker. Actually, what do I do? Just bear with me. Gone too far now. Let it step backwards. Let it step backwards. And it's not going to work. It has. Okay, I want to keep that dark line there because it just makes it a lot easier. Okay, so okay, so as you can see, my dotted line is above that dark bit. So I just right click in here, fill, foreground color, done. Okay, now this is where it gets interesting. So we need to go in just below that dark line. Oops, sometimes. <sighs> Sometimes I'm not sure if it's light. Oh, now we're too high. Yeah, sometimes with the crosshairs, you end up. Um, this is going to go from the bottom. That's better. Okay. Now with this one, we've got our gradient color. So what we need to do is click on this button here. And sometimes it's just a matter of trial and error. But you click and hold your mouse down. Make sure that line's straight. It's a bit too light. So what I'll do is go Control Z to undo that, and we'll just go a little bit higher because I'd rather have it a little bit darker because the text in Mum's logo is uh, it's a little bit light. Is white. So as long as what do you reckon about that? Or should we go a bit darker? Should we might go a bit longer. Hang on. Um, might go down here a bit more. Yeah. Sometimes you just keep trying a few different colours and like placing your cursor in different places until you're happy. Okay. I think we'll just leave it at that. Okay. Now this is another. Oops. What am I doing here? Control Z. Okay, now we need to just go back to this box here because we've got to do this little shadow bit, which, as you will see, creates this little shadow underneath the um, navigation bar here. And oh, I forgot to change her button. So I'll get in trouble for that, I'm sure. Okay. Oh, no. You make sure you've got to be quite um, accurate here because. Um, if you're not, well that makes life difficult, hang on a minute, okay this is going to work because I've got my Camtasia little bar underneath and it's in the way, okay. Now with this one I'm more inclined to make it as light as possible, oops what am I doing, leave that there, so click on the gradient thing again, but this time we'll probably go We'll probably end it. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> we don't need it as dark as the other one. This one's sort of starting it up higher. What do you reckon about that? 
let's see, we can see what that looks like anyway. But um, oops, what am I doing? Okay, so let's save that. Now, we also need to get the header file. Actually, if, we, if you go in here, I'm going to shut this down actually. So we'll shut that because we need this gradient to exactly match the header gradient. So we're better off copying and pasting this. Now we've got to make sure when I copy and paste it that it's at 112. Oops, Control C. Let me go File and then New. And if it says 112, damn it, it's 113. Okay, so we'll try again. Then we go. I'm, I know I'm a bit up there, but these things can't be helped. But it's 112, but I'm not sure if this is going to work. A hunt? No, it's not. Okay. What I'm inclined to do is just stop it there and just see what that comes in at. File new. 111. Okay, so we can see we can go probably a little bit higher than what we have here. So. pretty picky. You can control C and then file and then new. You can't see file I know. Okay see that says 112 there? So go OK and then control V then you go image and then image size. Actually that at 112 but this has to be 960 for this particular situation. Okay so we file, save as, these are both PNG files and this will become the header file. Yes, we want to replace it. And yeah, we want it flat and all that stuff. Oh no, we don't want to do that. Shut that. No. We'll save that. Okay. Now we'll just go in and tr transfer it over. Okay, so we're going to transfer these into the image file, my mum's website. You just go, yes, yes. Yes again. Okay, that's in there. I'm just going to go in here, clear my cache because if I don't it won't work. Okay, let's click on home. Let's see what colour we end up with. Okay, we need to change that colour there but we'll worry about that in a minute. Waiting, 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 waiting. Still waiting. And there you go. Now I still need to go in and change. Actually that background colour might be a little bit pink, but we'll go and worry about that later. But there you go. There you have it. That's how you change your header.